All right, so when I walk, please observe that I have this thing that does this as I walk. Right? This? A leg. In this particular case, this leg is a pendulum. When you walk, you walk with a pendulum. Your leg is a pendulum. Now, it turns out that you have a, a period of your pendulum, that with a gate at which when you walk is a standard gait. If you walk too fast, it takes you more work to do so. In fact, if you walk slowly, it takes you more energy to do so because you actually have to slow down your pendulum or your leg. So what you can do is, if you can find the natural gait of your walk, you can figure out where the center of mass of your leg is. Because the L is not the length of my leg, but rather the distance from the center of suspension from my hip to the center of mass of my leg. So what we're going to do is I'm going to time several steps. And what I'm trying to do right now is find my natural gait, which is always fun to do when you have approximately 30 people staring at you. But I will do it nonetheless. And I'm going to time several steps. And from there, we can figure out where the center of mass of my leg is. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five point three seven seconds. From here, we can figure out where the center of mass of my leg is. Five point three seven. So, in eight steps, I took five point three seven seconds. Okay. In eight steps, how many cycles did I go through? How many cycles of the pendulum in eight steps? Four. Notice that every step is half a cycle, right? I go from one to two to three. That's half a cycle. So in eight steps, the change of time was 5.37 seconds. So that was four cycles of the pendulum. And what we're trying to figure out is L, the length of my pendulum or the distance from the center of suspension to the center of mass of my leg. In order to do so, we're going to use the period equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. So we need to know the period of my gait. What is the period of my gait? How can we figure this out? <coughs> Bless you. Uh, we don't actually have to first find the frequency we could, but we can find the period directly. Emma? Can you just take the time and divide it by four because you have four cycles? The, free, the period is the time <coughs> for one full cycle, or seconds per cycle. We have the seconds and the cycles. So we can figure out it's just going to be the time, the 5.37 seconds divided by the cycles, which is four cycles. So the period is equal to? Bless you. 1.3425. And that's in seconds per cycle, 1.3425. Now, we need to solve the period equation for L. Please, Lily, help me solve the period equation for L. Okay, so the period divided by 2 pi is equal to the square root of L over G. The period squared divided by 4 pi squared is equal to L over G. Oh, multiply by G? Multiply by G, we get L is equal to the period squared times G divided by 4 pi squared. We have all of these numbers. The period was 1.3425. That squared multiplied by 9.8 divided by 4 pi squared. L is equal to.
0.4473. Okay, so L is equal to, we'll go about, about 45 centimeters. And if you measure from the hip bone to 45 centimeters, what you get is approximately the center of my knee. And this turns out to be true for uh, every time that I've done it with somebody, you always get right around the center of the knee as the center of mass of your leg. Okay. 